Welcome to anyone watching, it's Craig at mysimpit.co.uk and welcome to part 3 in a short series of videos looking at upgrades to the Simpit. In this video I'll be looking to implement a utility light. Let's buckle up. There was an option to 3D print a utility light, but for this item, if possible, I really wanted to source one from a real aircraft. And initially I started looking online, mostly on eBay, at all kinds of utility lights. Um, a lot of the ones that come up in uh, the UK for used aircraft parts are for tornadoes, so uh, several of those items I looked at and some other ones. After some information gathering, I decided that I'd really like it to be broadly in keeping with the one that's actually in the A10. So the first two features are that it would be cylindrical in design and have that coiled power cable. So I continued my search with that in mind and I was also looking for a light which could be dimmable but ideally have a push button so it can come on as a floodlight with immediate full brightness. And I did come across a number of really good items. And when I'd whittled my search down to just a couple of them, I then took some time to look at the manufacturer catalogues and data sheets for those to be really clear of what all of the features were. So the item I arrived at was the Goodrich Aircraft Utility Light. And what I got is the same maker model as what we see on screen now. The listing we can see here is a more recent one for this item. I'd fortunately sourced mine several years before and at that time it was a lot cheaper fortunately as we can see on screen now. And it does show just what an increase there has been in prices generally because at the point I got this it was £35. When I look at listings now it's somewhere in the region of £95 to £100 and if it had been that event then I would have just 3D printed it if it was going to cost that much. So the final piece of information gathering I'd done just before I made this purchase was I'd sourced um, from UTC Aerospace one of their uh, catalogues which showed their range and within that it did detail this particular part as we can see now. So there's a PAN part number but also this one uh, 2LA002865. And again, it confirmed it had all of the features I wanted, cylindrical design, the notable design of the power cable, um, and it was dimmable. Also with a momentary switch as well for full brightness. And I could see from this that the particular listing from eBay that I got didn't include the mounting base. I did look at sourcing the that, that item, and it, in this brochure it gave the particular part number, but... The cost in locating it was often more than the actual lamp. So that particular part of it, I do plan to 3D print. And here we have the utility light. So we'll just take a few moments to have a look at this. And again, we can see a number of the details in terms of the part numbers. Uh, this is XMOD stock, so Ministry of Defence. And a lot of items I've bought that are XMOD, they're really superb quality, really are. So let's just take a look at that. Feels like quality kit. I'll just go ahead and power this up and 
see it in use. So the physical condition looks perfect. So in the test phase, I've hooked it up to the bench supply, dim the lights down, and let's have a look at it. Momentary push button, which comes on at full brightness. And then the dimmer function. And we can rotate this and it then alters the, the way the light is cast between, let's just put that onto the wall, between a, a more of a spotlight and it being cast more broadly. And it seems to allow continual rotation, so it's not to one extreme and you have to then twist it the opposite way. You can just continually uh, rotate this round. So yeah, really happy with that. That's definitely what I was looking for. So in approaching the 3D print of the mounting base, I just want to get a feel for the height that it will be positioned at. All those years ago when I made the left console and this panel here, I dropped in these four screw holes. So when the time came, I'd have something to bolt the light to. I will be able to print a number of bases so I'll be able to control the height that the lamp sits at. So putting the camera where I see the initial height about there. So that, that's where I'll 3D print it initially. And we can now see that 3D printed part. And by measuring carefully the adapter there, I was able to be sure that it was a good snug fit. So where you've got the groove in that adapter, I've put a few aligned holes for machine screws so it can just take hold of that. So the next thing is to consider the power supply to this because you don't typically get 28 volt power supplies straight plug into the wall. And unlike the magnetic held switches, which were rated 28 volt, but in fact could run at 12, this does need really to be run at the 28. So we can see here a voltage booster step up that I've been able to source online. My plan is to use a nine volt supply to power it from the one side, which I'm just using my multimeter to check that what the booster's own LCD readout says matches um, my own measurements. And then on the other side of it, as it shows there, 28 volts out. But I've put it as 28.06 because then that then via my uh, double check of it puts it exactly at 28. It looks like it was just fractionally out. So I'll go ahead now and install this in place. First glance looks good. Good bit of time it took to source apart and at the point I'd done that several years has passed and it's really pleasing particularly after having that item there waiting to install to get to the point that I can do that as part of the phase two upgrades to the Simpit project. So we'll go ahead now and let's take a look at this in use. Firstly, we can see the step up converter and I've completely subdued the light. So let's take a look at it. It's definitely effective in terms of the brightness allows it to illuminate everything. So it is really handy that you can alternate between a more focused spotlight and a flood of light. So I'll just pan around the camera and we'll take a different view of it. That's another upgrade completed. 
in the next video I'll be looking to upgrade the circuit breaker panel. Thanks for watching.